Welcome students to class 5 maths chapter 4 factors and multiples. In today's lesson we will revise the traditional method of finding the HCF and I will share a few short tricks with you. Can you tell me the HCF of these numbers by just looking at them? Don't worry by the end of this video you will be able to solve this question by just looking at it. Yes my dear students you heard me right by just looking at these numbers. Let us begin with the traditional method of finding HCF. We'll start by finding common factors. Let us consider two numbers 20 and 30. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. In my previous videos, I have covered how to find out factors. In case there is a doubt, I have shared the link above. You can click on that and see that. Factors of 30, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. Now the common factors between the two are 1, 2, 5 and 10. Common factors of 20 and 30 are 1, 2, 5 and 10. Now if you see 10 is the greatest common factor or the highest common factor. So we will say HCF of 20 and 30 is 10. And that was one method of finding the HCF. Now the second method of finding the HCF by division method. For this, let us take two numbers 50 and 260. So we'll take the bigger number inside the division symbol and the smaller number 50 outside. We will start dividing. 50 will go 5 times in 260. We get 250. When we subtract, we get 10. Again, we will draw a symbol and put this number inside the division symbol. Now, we divide 50 by 10. That goes 5 times and we are left with 0 remainder. At the stage where we are left with 0 remainder, that divisor, here in this case we have 10, will be the HCF. So, HCF of 50 and 260 is 10. This is the second method. Now, the trick. Trick 2. Find out the HCF by just looking at the numbers. Let us take three numbers 4, 12 and 20. For the trick you need to know the concepts very well. Highest common factor. So what are we talking about? We are talking about the factors and we have to choose the highest common factor. And you already know factor is either equal to that number or less than that number. Factor is never greater than that number. So highest common factor can never be greater than the smallest number in the list. That means in this particular case, the HCF cannot be more than 4. Either it will be 4 or it will be less than 4. So here we will concentrate on the smallest number. So 4. Now we will check whether the other numbers are divisible by 4 or not. Like in this case, they are divisible by 4. If the smallest number completely divides all other numbers, then the smallest number is the HCF. So in this case, 4 is dividing 12 and 20 completely. So 4 becomes the HCF. Highest common factor of 4, 12 and 20 is 4. Now that may not be the case every time. So let us take another set of numbers. Here I have taken 4 numbers. 8, 28, 36 and 64. Again we will concentrate on the smallest number. Smallest number is 8. 28 does not divide by 8. 36 does not divide by 8. 64 divides. So 64 we will cut. Now we are left with 8, 28 and 36. So for this now we will take out the factors of 8. And after taking out the factors we will see which is the greatest factor that divides the other numbers. If the smallest number does not divide all other numbers completely then list factors of the smallest number. The largest factor which divides all the other numbers will be the HCF. In our case, smallest number was 8. 64 was dividing by 8. We cancel 64. The other two numbers were not dividing by 8. So now we will take out the factors of 8. Factors of 8 are 8, 4, 2 and 1. We know the other two numbers are not dividing by 8. So we will now check with 4. The other two numbers are dividing by 4. So we come to the conclusion the largest factor which divides all other numbers is 4. That means 4 is the number that divides 8, 28, 36 and 64. So this becomes the highest common factor. 
So we write highest common factor of 8, 28, 36, 64 is 4. Now this was the trick method. I want you to do one thing. Take these four numbers and you will find the HCF by the division method. First you will find the HCF of 8 and 28. You will get one number. Then you will find the HCF of 36 and 64 by division method and you will get the second number. So in the comment section, write your name. Tell me the HCF of 8 and 28. Then the HCF of 36 and 64 and then the final HCF. Now if these two numbers, the HCFs that you find are same, then the final HCF will be the same number. If these two numbers are different, then again you will use division method to find the final HCF. So four lines you have to write. First is your name. Second is the HCF of 8 and 28. Third is the HCF of 36 and 64. And fourth line, the final HCF. Now, all those of you who did the long division must have realized how wonderful is this trick. Did you hit the like button? If you haven't, do it now. Now, we are all ready to do the worksheet. Students, you will do this worksheet by the trick method. Question 1. Find the HCF of the following. A. 3, 15, 18 and 27. B. 5, 20, 60. 120. C. 10, 25, 40, 50. Pause the video here. Use the trick to find your answers quickly and then unpause and see the video. Solutions to worksheet. First one was 3, 15, 18 and 27. So we had to first look at the smallest number 3 and then next step was to check whether it is divisible by the other three numbers. I hope you all remember the divisibility rules, otherwise a link to it is provided above. When we add the digits of the numbers, we realize 15 is divisible by 3, 18 is also divisible by 3 and 27 is also divisible by 3. So 3 becomes the HCF. B part 5, 20, 60, 120. Here again we will concentrate on the smallest number 5. The other three numbers have a 0 in the end. So all of them divide with 5. So the HCF becomes 5. C part. 10, 25, 40 and 50. Here we again look at the smallest number 10. 40 and 50 divide but 25 does not divide. So we will take out factors of 10. Factors of 10 will be 10, 5, 2 and 1. So after 10 we have 5. So we will check 5. 25 divides by 5. Yes, it does. So the answer is 5. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the trick and have given a like to my video. If you haven't done that yet, do like my video and subscribe to the channel so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Until we meet again, stay happy and keep learning.